The real magic of a virtual tour, of course, is it gives the recipient, whether that be a potential buyer or a potential tenant or residents within a property, it allows them to, at their own pace, to look around the room and navigate from one space to the next. And I'm going to show you how effortless that is to create those hotspot links from one area to another inside Inventory Hive. So here we have, um, in this particular example, I've got three areas in a kitchen. The kitchen um, in reference here is quite a large kitchen. It's an L-shaped kitchen. So therefore, there's a few areas that we've set up here. So I'm just going to click on this first one here. Uh, and as you can see, I, I added these earlier on with some 360 images in there. But what I want to be able to do now is set a hotspot on this tour, which will allow the person that is viewing the tour have the feel, the perception that they've maybe come in from outside. They've clicked on a hotspot, which takes them into this area of the kitchen. And then we want to get the person, the, the viewer of the tour from here over to the other side of the kitchen. So it's very straightforward to do that. First of all, I hit on my add hotspot button, and then I've got a few different types of hotspots. So I can add a link from one space to the other, some text, a photo. I'm going to concentrate on this one just here, area link. So once I hit on that area link, it then gives me a drop down to choose which other 360 photo I want to link this one to. So I'm going to hit on kitchen two and scroll down a little bit further. I can also give it an additional description if I wanted to. So I might type in there um, 360 photo by the work surfaces or by the worktop. In this case, I'm not going to do that. I personally like to keep it really simple and I just leave that field blank. So I'm just going to say, right, I want to take the person on the tour over to that image over there. If I hit done on that, it will then add that hotspot on there for me. So the, the viewer of this tour can then go straight to that area. Now, when you're creating the tour, if you don't want to jump to that next space, you can. You hit confirm. It takes you into the next modal. And then from here, I can then look back. So I've gone from the front door over to this area. And then I can add another one, for instance. So in this case, I'm going to link it to the third uh, kitchen photo, which will take me to the other side of the kitchen. Now, what? That's just over there. And again, I hit done. And there we have, I've then created my virtual tour uh, for that particular kitchen. Of course, I can continue to add hotspots when, you know, along the way into other areas in the property. But what I'm going to do now, just to quickly show you how that looks, is I'm going to come back into here. And as you can see, it now reveals to me a preview tour button. It only shows that button once you've linked up a couple of spaces, but it gives you a really nice way, quick fire way of clicking on your virtual tour. It will then open the screen up for you and it will allow you to have a little bit of a a little bit of a run through to see what progress you're making. And there you have it. So you can move around the property and have a look around here. And then, of course, you can add other hotspots in here. So if you wanted to add a close up image of the cooker, for instance, or of the fridge freezer, you can then add a hotspot on there where they click it and it takes them into uh, you know, a standard photograph. Uh, maybe you know zooming in on a, on a sort of showcase feature but that shows you just how straightforward it is to set up and link areas uh, inside inventory hive